have a couple things we want to do today. First, we need to hang some blinds in our kitchen, which we've been putting off and putting off because it's just kind of an annoying little project. But we borrowed a drill from our landlord slash neighbor and we need to give it back. So we're gonna try and do that now. And then we're gonna go on a little adventure um, a little bit outside of the city to a place called Kopenick. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And just explore and spend some time there and then we'll have church tonight. Okay, so slight change of plans. We just really needed to get out of the house. So we are leaving, going on our adventure now. There's Josh. I have train tickets, by the way. And we'll figure out the hanging of the thing later. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. You can see the radio tower from right outside our apartment. It's been so sunny here in Berlin, and today it's sunny and warm, but it's today it's sunny and actually like so cold. We're in the shade too. Yeah. So that has a definite impact. We'll have to find some sun. Specific. And one of the things I love about Germany is they will just shamelessly be extremely literal. The official name of this place is Zwergenparadies, which means dwarf paradise. <laughs> We've got dwarf outfits for you, used and new. <laughs> Alright, this is starting to look rather promising. We're on the bridge, walking into Copenhagen. First got off the train. It was a little sketchy looking. Mm -hmm. We weren't exactly stoked, but let's see how it goes. Over that away, the Kunstgewerbe Museum. Okay. Which we can investigate. This street also looks very interesting. Yeah. I vote we go that way. We're looking for a little coffee. Over here, we have a brewery inside of a telephone booth behind the horse. Interesting. Only in Germany. So apparently, Kopenick has some of the oldest buildings um, that were thankfully not destroyed during World War II. And you can see here, I would expect this is one of them. Steinecke Bakery, which is quite ubiquitous in Nordrhein-Westfalia. Wait, you didn't want any coffee? Nope. 
I'm good. I had enough coffee today. Mm. Jenneth is on her way to the dad bod. Unfortunately, that I don't know so if I'll rude. ever be able to catch her at this rate. <laughs> she had a pastry yesterday. Pizza for breakfast. Another pastry. And now another pastry. When in Germany. All right, Jenny crushed her pastry, so we're picking up the pace. Hoping to make up for those lost four minutes once again. <laughs> That's why it kind of reminds me of Balboa Island because you know how they drive vehicles. little golf carts? Yeah. I think maybe we were supposed to walk this way. So we just walked in a huge circle and it wasn't that cute. <laughs> we found this street called Keats, which is supposed to be like really old and beautiful, but it quickly turned into industrial and not so cute. But this is Keats going in the other direction and it's much more promising. And look, the sun is even coming out. Do you want to cross the street? Or Well, then we won't be in the sun. Okay. We'll be in the sun. Is there like a fish man? Yeah. Yeah, it's been real cold. Um, what? This. Look at that. Okay, let's go down and then back maybe and then down again. Yeah, and then back and then this way. Keep going. Yeah. It's closed up right now, but. <laughs> Hairdressers. Want to get your hair cut right now? No. <laughs> Not really. That looks like. That looks like the best dessert I could possibly imagine. It does look really It's good. like a Twix bar. Is this a candy bar that, that has slice up. like words on it? Like it's I think it is. In pictures? Yeah, it is. This is some lady's 75th birthday. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I'm more things for future date nights, I think. <laughs> yeah, you better believe we're coming back and we're getting some slices of whatever the heck that is. <laughs> I tried to take a picture of him in front of his cool green door, but his hair is too crazy. Yeah, I'm glad this is a lousy photographer, unfortunately. No, you just haven't had a haircut in like four months. Well, we didn't exactly find 
a beach, but we found the water and it's like frozen. So that's cool. Mm, can't wait for it to be spring. And this little bird. Oh, He's like, nope. I'm sorry. Shh, come back. What kind of burp are you? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What kind of duck are you? Oh, you're gonna come up? He's looking he's looking for a way up. He said he's just like find a way up. We're pretty cold, so we're probably gonna head back. In this house, Henrietta Listig. Listig means funny, not that that's important, it's just your last name. <laughs> In this house lived and worked the female washer, Henrietta Lustig. Building? Big building. <laughs> Look at that. Is that gardens? Looks like it. I thought this is beautiful in the summer. Hey guys, so we are back home now. It's about 4.21 and I've just been working on my most recent project for the last couple hours and Josh has been reading and doing some other stuff. I'm not really sure. I've been really interested in learning to code. So I've been working on coding just like a super simple um, HTML website. All right, this is what I'm going to make tonight. Honestly, the only part that I understand <laughs> of this title is cheese. So, looks good though. Guess there's cheese in there. Okay, wait, what is this? Excuse me, sir? What the heck are you? I've never seen such a weird looking vegetable in my life. Gonna have to look that one up. Like what? It's heavy too. Germans. Um, okay, so it's called a kohlrabi. Also called a germin, German turnip. Related to broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, blah, blah, blah. Weird. Like, have you ever seen such an alien looking vegetable? Also, the way that this um, website is translating sugar snap peas is imperial pods which I find hilarious. <laughs> so apparently I'm supposed to peel this? So let's see how one goes about such a thing. Okay. Okay, so we cut the butt off. And then you just kind of peel it like that. This one doesn't have the weird stringy things that this one has. Recommended equipment. It's hardcore. All right, let's try it. This is the biggest knife I have. Not going well. <laughs> Goodness gracious. How in the actual... <gasps> okay. Promising. I think she chopped it in half. easy once you get in there. It's like a cabbage. Oh, it's so weird, but it's not like a cabbage inside. It's just like, it's kind of like a potato. Mmm, and it smells like cauliflower. <laughs> it's 
better be worth it. Like, is it really necessary to use a kohlrabi versus, I don't know, a cabbage? A regular cabbage? My weird arm thing. All right, I have successfully peeled half of the kohlrabi. guys it's a few hours later we've just been watching this movie called the white tiger and that's gonna be all for this uh week's vlog um thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments if there's anything that you'd like to see us film um we have a couple other like little trips and stuff planned but because of covid and because Josh is in school all the time. We can't visit too many places right now. So let me know if there's anything that you'd like to know about Germany or about our experience here, and I'd be happy to do videos on that. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!